We were out soul winning off 23rd Avenue, Brother Garrett and I. We saw just a gigantic Hindu temple. It was massive. So I said to Brother Garrett, hey, let's go check that out. Let's see what that is. Because we didn't even know it was Hindu. We didn't know what it was. So we drove over and we checked it out. And, you know, they worship literally hundreds of different gods. They have all different gods that they worship. And none of them is real. Okay? But we walked in and we found a similarity between our church and theirs. Because we saw one familiar thing. You know, we saw all these golden elephants and all these pictures of false gods. But then we saw a ping pong table. <laughs> right in the middle of the Hindu temple. And we were like, we play ping pong at our church. You know, common ground. But you know, that's pretty much where the common ground stops right there. You know, we both, we love ping pong. And we were thinking about doing a ping pong tournament. Christianity versus Hinduism. Okay, grudge match. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, they have like a ping pong. It's just, it seems a little out of place, right? Because it's this temple and it's got this ping pong table in it. So the bottom line is, they worship a false god. They can't say, well, you know, we already worship a thousand. What's a thousand and one? Let's add Jesus Christ. No way. They have to turn from the false god in order to believe in Jesus Christ. Now, listen, let me ask you this. And I'm spending time on this because it's important. Is it possible... To have all of your faith in Jesus Christ if you're still trusting in another God also? No. No. Because in order to have all of your faith in Jesus Christ, that would of necessity mean that you're turning away from the other stuff you had your faith in. Right? Go to Hebrews chapter 6, for example. Hebrews chapter number 6. You see, what if I just said, what if I just said, put 100% of your faith in Jesus to save you, nothing else? Now, basically, when I say that, what I'm also saying by that, even though I'm not coming right out and saying it, I'm basically implying you're going to have to take your faith out of whatever it was in. You're going to have to turn from that false god if you're confessing that Jesus Christ is the only living and true God. That would necessitate you turning from whatever other god you're into. Okay. So what if I just didn't say the part about turning from that other God? I just said, hey, you've got to put all your faith in Jesus. Okay? Well, obviously, then turning from that other God would be included in that statement. Because I'm saying you've got to have all of it on him. Trusting him alone to save you as the only God 